Thanks to Shortform for sponsoring this video. Everybody does some kind of planning, researching, or studying almost every day. Whether you're trying to find a restaurant for a date or holiday destinations for your next vacation or relevant paper for your academic research, it can quickly get overwhelming since our brain can hold only a certain amount of information. This is why having a second brain can improve many aspects of your life because it makes these things much easier by holding information for us, which frees up space in our brain for thinking. Personally, I've been using an app called My mind as part of my second brain where I save anything I want to remember and I've been recommended to many people because it's brilliant but I have to admit it's not the cheapest app it costs more than $10 a month which makes many people hesitate to subscribe so I started to look for a cheaper alternative and so far the best ones I found are Evernote and Raindrop you may think Evernote is almost dead but it's still great as an idea storage bookmark manager or filing cabinet but in this video let's focus on Raindrop because it's even cheaper than Evernote and got almost everything you want from a bookmark manager like tags, collections, sharing and full text search. To simply put, your idea storage is where you collect your inspirations and save things you don't want to forget or lose. That includes your favorite blog posts, videos, pictures, products you want to buy, places and restaurants you want to go or even important documents and PDF files. By saving them to your bookmark manager, you can quickly find anything anytime you need it. With Raindrop, you can save anything on the web easily. It just takes one click to save a page on your browser. And it's really simple to save from your mobile too, by using the share option. One of the things I like about Raindrop is that when you save an item, it automatically categorizes into articles, videos, images, documents, and audios, which makes it easy to find items you're looking for. When you click on the item, you can see the preview. I like this because it removes all of the annoying ads and other distracting things on the web page. Or you can choose to see the permanent copy, which is like an internet archive, meaning you can see this page even if it gets taken down or disappears for whatever reason. Another great feature is full text search. That means the entire content of every web page you saved is fully searchable. Say for example, you want to find items spelled baseball. I can type it in the search bar and it will show me the ones that contain the word along with the sentences that has the word baseball in it. This feature is important because it improves the searchability of things you saved. After all, if you can't find an item you saved when you need it, what's the point of saving it in the first place? Anyway, this full text search also applies to PDF files. If you upload a PDF to Raindrop, it will make the text inside searchable. This might be great for students who read many academic essays and need a place to organize them. You can create a collection like school and nested collections for each subject, where you can organize your lecture slides and academic paper. Personally, I save PDF summaries of my favorite books so I can read them whenever I want to. Speaking of book summaries, let me briefly tell you about today's sponsor, Shortform. Shortform provides super detailed book summaries with smart insights and analysis that you won't see anywhere else. Personally, I like to read summaries on my favorite books rather than rereading the entire books. I tried many book summary apps before, but most of them weren't as comprehensive as I wanted and missed lots of important points. But Shortform's book guides are much more detailed and come with smart insight that connect ideas in different books. Shortform features the world's most popular books from several categories like The Laws of Human Nature, The 4-Hour Workweek, and Thinking Fast and Slow. When you find your favorite book summary, you can also download it as PDF so you can read it offline. I usually save them in Raindrop so I can access it whenever I want to. If you're interested in trying Shortform, go to shortform.com slash shuomi to get free unlimited access for 5 days and a discounted annual subscription. Anyway, let's go back to Raindrop. If you're thinking of using it, moving from other bookmark apps is really easy. You can import your bookmarks from apps like Evernote, Pocket, Instapaper, Google Bookmarks, and My Mind. My transition from my mind was very smooth and took only like five minutes. If you're looking for an affordable tool for storing materials on the web, Raindrop might be perfect for you. You can use almost all the features except for nested collections and permanent copy for totally free. And even the premium plan is only $3 a month. Personally, I already got their premium plan because it's super cheap. 
I use this app as my idea storage where I save everything I don't want to forget. And once a week, I go through unsorted folder, which is like my inbox, then move each item to appropriate folders. Also, the biggest reason why I decided to switch to Raindrop is its integration with Alfred. With this integration, you can search your bookmarks in Raindrop with a command to find the things you saved instantly. This feature is so useful, especially when you are making a note and want to see the reference. But I will show you how I use Raindrop as part of my note-taking system in detail in the next video. So stay tuned, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye! Thank you so much to my patrons who support my work. I get to create these videos all thanks to you guys. If you like my videos, please consider becoming my patron, it would mean the world to me, and I'd really appreciate it. Thanks!